So today I bring you episode 61 of the coolest tech of the month, October 2021. And in case you're wondering, the first part of this video is being shot on my new iPhone 13 Pro. Now, if you love checking out the latest new innovations in technology, then this is the video you need to watch. And as usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description box with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first cool product. So this is the Chewy HiPad Pro LTE Android tablet. So this is a fabric hard case that it comes in. Um, when you open up the case, you'll actually see that it's a proper nice keyboard case. So the tablet can be propped up on any flat surface and you can go ahead and start using this very nice chiclet keyboard. It's quite compact in size, but it feels nice to type on. And this is actually a Bluetooth keyboard. And the keyboard on the side also has a USB-C charging port and a power button. So you can actually charge the keyboard up. Um, and the keyboard is magnetic. This is what I call a very good Apple iPad replica. Now look at those thin bezels. We're talking about 4.5 millimeter bezels going all the way around. This is definitely one of the nicer designed Android tablets that I've come across. The tablet is constructed from metal, eight megapixel camera on the rear. The tablet is extremely slim at only 6.9 millimeters. That's slimmer than my smartphone and it weighs 480 grams. Now the screen size is 10.8 inches. It's a full HD IPS display. Uh, this tablet is actually powered by the Snapdragon 662 octa-core clocked at 2 gigahertz. This is a 4G LTE tablet, so there is a SIM card slot at the bottom. It's a triple hybrid SIM tray, so it can take dual 4G nano SIM cards or one micro SD card and one nano SIM card. Now for connectivity, you also have built-in GPS and dual band Wi-Fi. On the top of the tablet, you have a volume rocker. On the side, we have a power button. We've got two speakers on this side with a USB-C port in the middle. At the bottom, you've got your SIM card tray. And on the other side, you've got two more speakers. So you've got a quad speaker setup, two on each side. Now, dual cameras, five megapixels on the front and eight megapixel on the back. You've got a massive 7,000 milliamp hour battery. It supports Quick Charge 3 with Type-C connector. And this tablet is actually running Android 11. And apparently you have Google Widevine level one certification. So that was my quick first look at the Chewy HiPad Pro LTE Android tablet. Now, if you wanna see a full review of this product or any other product you're about to see, then do let me know in the comments. Now let's see what's next. Super Console X Max. 3-in-1 system, so full Android 9. You've also got MU Elec 4.2 on top, along with Core Elec, and you have over 50,000 retro games built in. Power socket, remote control, HDMI cable, and the TV box itself. I say TV box because that is exactly what this is. Um, it's powered by the S905X3. It's a quad-core chip along with four gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. And you can see there is a micro SD card pre-installed in there. So that's actually a 64 gigabyte card with all your content on it. And the internal memory is 32 gigs. It comes with two wireless remote controls. So these are kind of like the PlayStation 2 controllers. We do not stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Here are the system menus. You can see it says all games, favorites, CPC 464, Final Burn, MAME, Atari 2600, Atari 800, Atari 5200, Atari ST, you've got the Atari 7800, we've got the Atari Lynx, Wonderswan Color, Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, Commodore Amiga 1200, we've got Odyssey 2, Intellivision, MSX, Vectrix, NEC PC Engine, CD-ROM System, PC Engine Super Graphics, Game & Watch, NES Original, Family Computer Disk System, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy, N64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, you've got Ports, Open VOR, Atomis Wave, Sega SG-1000, Master System, Genesis, Game Gear, Mega Drive, 32X, Mega CD, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, Naomi, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, SNK Neo Geo CD, SNK Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color. We've got the original PlayStation, 
and PSP games. So that is quite an incredible lineup there. I can't go through all of the games, but I am certainly going to try something. So let's go to PSP. I'm going to tr quickly try Street Fighter Alpha 3. Let's see what, how it plays. Let's go straight to Sega Saturn. Right, let's go straight to N64, FIFA 99. So that should give you a rough idea of what to expect from this console. This is the Super Console X Max, people. So we have an exclusive early preview of the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro by Anchor. So I've got two different colors to look at, Midnight Black and Frost White. They never let me down with presentation. Watch this, guys. So it's a magnetic flap on the side. Open them up. Wow. The design of just the box alone always impresses me, even before touching the product. Charging case, pristine, wow. Look at that. Look at that reflective finish inside. So you can see LED power indicators on the front, letting you know how much battery you have left within the case. On the back, you've got USB Type-C port and a pairing button. The earbuds, wow, these are different. These do look really stylish. Now let's grab an ear tip. So I guess it's large, medium, small, small. I'm just gonna go for medium and hope it does the job. They're made from plastic. You've got this dark gray finish going all the way around. So 10.6 millimeter coaxial dynamic drivers. They support 3D surround sound. They are high res audio certified. You've got active noise cancellation with multi-mode transparency. You get eight hours from a single charge and a total of 32 hours with the charging case. You have six AI noise cancelling microphones built in. They support Bluetooth 5.2. They are IPX4 water resistant. You've got in-ear detection. So while you're playing music, if you remove them from your ear, the music will stop, put them back in, and they will automatically start playing music. And not only that, the charger case supports wireless charging. So you can pop this on a wireless charger or you can plug in the USB-C. Now you do also have the Soundcore app, which is available on both um, Android and iOS devices. Now I've tested out the Liberty 3 Pro, the sound quality, even without connecting to the smartphone app and tweaking the settings. So just pairing up and listening to music straight away, I was amazed by the sound. The bass was exceptional. It's really good quality bass and sound. It's loud, it's clear, no distortion at all. You've got high res audio certification um, and I'm really liking that thumping bass. And they are extremely comfortable in the ear. I could easily wear these and go for a jog and I am confident these are not gonna fall out my ear. They are very well designed and they fit in your ear canal and hook into place inside your ear so they are not gonna fall out and they look really stylish too. So a good look, a good design, they are comfortable. They are IPX4 water resistant. You're getting Bluetooth 5.0 to in-air detection, wireless charging. You are getting six noise cancelling microphones, 3D surround sound. I said high-res audio for the third time um, and active noise cancellation. I can definitely recommend these without any hesitation at all. The Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro are exceptional. Let's see what's next. So next on the table, we have the XDO Pantera tiny mini PC. They're calling this a tiny mini PC. And when you see this, you are going to be in shock because they are not exaggerating when they say tiny. They mean it. Check this out, people. What the hell is this? Look at the size of this mini PC. And it's not just any mini PC. This is upgradable. You've got upgradable RAM, upgradable internal storage. You've got full size USB ports on the front, USB 3 physical power button, micro SD card slot. You've got a physical fan inside. This body is made from aluminium. This is premium quality. You've got this glass perspex on top as well with the XDO design. Amazing, I've never heard of this company, yet look at the quality that they have produced. 
On the back, we've got an HDMI port, so 4K output supported. You've got two more USB ports, so if two weren't enough, you've got another two on the back. So an additional USB 3 and also a USB 2 headphone jack and your USB-C power socket. And you've got nothing on the sides. I'll show you what the bottom looks like as well. So that's the bottom of the unit. I want to show you what's in here because this is equally as incredible. So you've got the charging cable to it, a little manual, and check this out, portable keyboard. <laughs> wow, it's a portable Bluetooth keyboard. It's made from metal. You've got these chiclet keys, plenty of travel. Look at that space bar, half, half design. This is what I call innovation, an ideal mini PC to travel with. You get the travel case included. So this is a padded travel case. Dimensions. 6.9 centimeters in width, 6.9 centimeters in depth, and 5.3 centimeters in height. That is how small this little mini PC is. It's tiny. If it wasn't already such a cool device, they decided to stick on some LED lights to make it even cooler. It's powered by the Intel Celeron J125 quad core, two gigahertz. There is also eight gigs of DDR4 RAM. So that's two times four gigs running in dual channel mode. You also have a 256 gig M2 SSD which is upgradable to one terabyte. So you can remove that and upgrade it to one terabyte. That is incredible. There is also dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth version 5.1. It comes pre-installed with Windows 10 Home and it's Windows 11 ready. So you can update this to Windows 11. It supports 4K at 60 FPS. You've got a built-in mini cooling fan and heatsink. Great mini PC for your everyday office tasks, web browsing, emails, office applications, uh, shopping online and it's even good for some light pc games like candy crush yeah so that's the xdo pantera tiny mini pc so here we have the zblaze stratos premium multi-sport gps smartwatch so now first of all you have a very interesting build quality the watch case is made from plastic the bezels going around the screen are made from zinc alloy the buttons and the buckle are made from stainless steel. So you've got a good combination of materials there and it doesn't look that bad in design. Screen size, 1.32 inch HD display. You have a 360 by 360 resolution with built-in GPS and Bluetooth 5.0. You've got heart rate sensor, SpO2, stress monitoring, VO2, automatic sleep monitoring and lots more. You have over 120 exercises built in. Battery life is also quite incredible. 580 milliamp hour battery will give you 14 days of battery life and it takes around two and a half hours to fully charge. So you can see your health sensors at the bottom. I'll quickly show you the charger. So it's a magnetic charging plate. So line up the charger pins and it secures itself magnetically in place. You can charge that up with any five watt USB source and it takes around two and a half hours to fully charge that battery. And the smartphone app is called Zerona Health Pro and it's available on both Android and iOS smartphones. And you can view your health reports and detailed statistics directly from the smartphone app. Now this watch is 50 meter water resistant and it can also track your swimming activities, strokes, distance, etc. Now these come with silicone straps. They are very comfortable and they are quite easy to remove and replace with your own 22 millimeter band, should you wish to do so. And this is how the watch looks on my wrist. And as you can see, it's quite a smart looking watch and I was pleasantly surprised uh, by the Stratos. While we're here, quickly check out the heart rate sensor. So this is my O2 ring. It's a medical grade oximeter. It gives you your blood oxygen and your heart rate reading more or less instantly and it's accurate. But do bear in mind, no watch actually claims to be medical grade standard, but I like to see how close to medical grade we can get. So my heart is currently 122 beats per minute. Yeah, I know it's a little on the higher side, um, but the watch thinks my heart rate is 110. It might be right if we have another look. 106, 107, 106, 105. I think it's fair to say that you've got an accurate heart rate sensor. 103, 109. Okay, that's gone to 110. That's on 102, 107, 108. I'm giving it a minute to see if it sorts itself out. And I think it has again, 103, 103. So wear the watch, give it a minute, and then check your heart rate. And it's gonna be nearly as good as medical grade standards. I say nearly because it can't keep up 
uh, with the medical grade, but that is still quite accurate. Quite impressed with that. So stress monitoring, SpO2, let's measure the SpO2. The O2 ring is already giving me a 96% SpO2 reading. Wow. Is that a coincidence? Did I just get lucky there? 96% and 96%. What is going on here, people? I, I can't even believe this is possible. Okay, it's now gone up to 97. Then it went back to 96. It's doing things, people. It's not lying to me. It's telling the truth. I am impressed. So Z-Blaze Stratos, the premium multi-sport GPS smartwatch, it's that damn good. So next up we have the official Apple 30 watt power adapter. Now I've read an article stating that the iPhone 13 Pro series charge faster than 20 watts if you grab a 30 watt charger. So I picked up the official Apple 30 watt charger to test this out. I am going to be doing a full battery charge test with the 30 watt charger to find out how long it takes to fully charge from zero to 100. I did recently drop a video testing the official 20 watt charger and it took one hour, 30 minutes to charge the iPhone 13 Pro from zero to 100%. Now I have read an article that the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max model can charge faster with the 30 watt power brick. The score to be is one hour, 30 minutes, and that video will be going live soon. So stay tuned for that. All right, next cool product, iPhone can stay where it is because we have a whole bunch of cases for the iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. Now, first of all, let's check out the Pro cases. Here we go. See how that looks. Cool, next one. A very similar case so i guess these two are quite similar nice and the last one this one is called the torres ultra thin finished in black it's a matte black finish oh yeah very nice so that was a pro case is quick look at the pro max let's see if it fits it looks like the 12 pro max and the 13 pro max are more or less the same dimensions because the case fits perfectly and yeah, nice look here. You've got a smoky, transparent design. Uh, nice bumper protection with raised lips. And keeps the phone still nice and slim. Crystal clear case. Nice. And we've got a matte black case as well. So that was the iPhone 13 series collection of cases by Torres. Simple, but unique. And the quality of the cases do seem to be quite good. It's easy to remove and install the phone um, without causing any scratches to the actual device. And um, the cases are made from a combination of uh, silicon and hard plastic. Definitely check them out, people. So next up on this cool list, we have a bunch of accessories by Joby. So we have the Grip Tight Gorilla Pod for MagSafe, the Joby Vert, and the Grip Tight Wall Mount for MagSafe. So we're going to check out the Joby Vert first of all. So this is a vertical L bracket, so you can stick this onto any universal tripod. It will then allow you to mount your mirrorless camera in a vertical mode. So it gives you a great way to shoot portrait shots. And this part over here is padded, so you're not going to scratch your camera up. And you even have a bubble level on the side, which allows you to align your shots. So that was the Joby Vert. Now we're going to check out both grip tight accessories for MagSafe. The Gorilla Pod comes in two pieces. So you have Joby's famous Gorilla Pod here. And then over here you have the MagSafe connection. So you're basically screwing this part on. So if I grab a device that's compatible, which so it's going to be iPhone 12 or iPhone 13. Um, so there you go. Stick your phone on. And you actually don't have to worry, even though I'm putting my hand there <laughs> in place just to make sure but it is the first time I'm using it, but wow, that is pretty secure. And then you can flip that around for portrait or landscape shots, um, but that is pretty secure. And if you had a non MagSafe smartphone, so you can just twist these two parts and then it will give you a regular smartphone holder. So you can pop that into place and away you go. It's quite a useful product because you've got extra threads on the side. So you can add the optional GorillaPod arms um, and then you can add your own microphone and lights and set up a mini smartphone rig I really like this. This is going to be quite convenient for me. Definitely going to be using that. Now over here we have a wall mount. So you can stick this to a wall and then it will give you 
a stand or a wall mount for your phone so that can be whoa you saw that so you need to make sure you get it in the center yeah haven't even got a case on it but yeah it's otherwise quite secure as long as you get it dead in the center where the apple logo is you don't want to get it underneath or above if you get the right spot that is secure so there you have it guys jobby's latest collection a uh, big fan of the gorilla pod already the magsafe connection is going to be quite useful as i do have the iphone 13 which i'm shooting with right now but i'm itching to just grab my iphone 13 and chuck it on there uh, but of course i'm gonna have to wait to do that because we are filming this video completely with the iphone 13 pro so let's see how this video turns out they're finally here so first thing is first opening the box you have to rip it from the side um and i didn't want to do that okay i just i love my tech but i love my packaging as well i like my packaging pristine so this had the strongest glue on the planet so i had to use uh, a heat gun to remove that and i just wanted the box to stay in one piece because this product is not just the rarest it's a collector's item because you cannot buy it right now even if you go to their website here they are the nothing air one ever since they were announced i wanted to get my hands on them um, i've seen every single review out there but i wasn't satisfied at all i wanted to test these for myself are they actually that good or is it super intelligent marketing so we've got a see-through case um, the case itself doesn't look um, exceptionally premium um, although it does feel well made it's solid it's not creaky it doesn't feel cheap either so it's somewhere in between they found a good balance between premium and budget you've got a usb-c port and a pairing button and that is pretty much it so you've got a metal hinge and when it closes it closes magnetically the earbuds are also held in place magnetically so if i flip them around you can see they are secure i'm absolutely dying to check these out so first of all put them on my hand because they are very familiar we have to quickly compare them to the airpods pro yeah similar but not quite there is a there is quite a big difference there in the design it does look incomplete a bit so this side is transparent which is very nice mind you but why is it white on this side it should have been transparent the whole thing um, or white the whole thing having it half and half and um, it's only after i wear it i'm going to know um, if they look good or not so we have 11.6 millimeter graphene drivers so usually budget earbuds they come with 10 millimeter drivers uh, nothing has gone for 11.6 so slightly bigger drivers than you would get on a typical budget pair of earbuds hybrid anc bluetooth 5.2 there are three hd microphones with ai powered environmental noise cancellation you've got 34 hour total battery life with the charging case these do support touch and slide gestures you do have in-ear detection so when you pop it in your ear the music plays and when you take them out the music automatically pauses they are ipx4 splash proof each earbud is 4.7 grams in weight and yeah they do feel quite light the case is actually 57 grams yeah i have to admit the case is rather on the larger side and if we compare it to the airpods case you can see how much bigger they are in thickness also they are a millimeter or two thicker because they went for a square design i suppose it just feels and looks bigger another plus point is these are compatible with both android and ios so here are my first initial thoughts they are actually quite good they've produced a pair of earbuds which are definitely worth the asking price so they offer incredible value now what's the most important is the sound quality the sound quality is very good provide you a similar result that of the airpods pro so you're getting the above average bass but not too much that you feel overpowered by bass but enough that the people that enjoy bass won't feel that there's no bass if that makes sense so let's just do this let's just rate the bass so i rate the bass four out of five if i had to rate the bass on the airpods i would give them a 3.5 out of five so you can say that the bass on the nothing air one are slightly higher than the airpods pro the all-round sound quality the mids and the highs are good so there was no distortion i was playing music on max which i always do and the sound quality was brilliant uh, definitely buy a pair because you will not be disappointed with the sound they are less than half the price from apple airpods they work with iphones and they work on android 
The sound quality does enough for me to recommend them. But just for comparative sake, if I had to compare the Air 1s with the Liberty 3 Pro, um, there is no doubt in my mind the Liberty 3 Pro are better. They are much better in every single way, in comfort, in sound. Um, but then they are nearly double in price than the Air 1. So by now these earbuds should have been lost and forgotten. But people are still trying to buy them. I received an email two, three days ago saying that they're back in stock. I immediately went online and I saw that they're in stock and I immediately purchased. I didn't think twice. I just purchased it, purchased them, even though I wasn't dying to buy these. Um, so somehow they've managed to keep themselves relevant for a much longer period. Hats off to them. I hope other companies don't implement this tactic. It just means that the real fans of new technology out there that want to buy this sort of tech won't be able to because of the marketing tactics. So very good product indeed. Um, definitely say buy one straight away. You will be impressed. So nothing here, one people. So brand new smartphone in the house. This is the Umi Digi Bison Pro. You can see at the front, it says Beyond Dreams. You've got the Umi Digi logo. Box finished in yellow, reminds me of the Poco colors. We've got some of the specs listed at the front. Pause the video and check out the specs for yourself. The Umi Digi Bison Pro. Lots of stuff to peel. Specifications, infrared thermometer people. Wow, interesting. 48 megapixel Sony, IP68, IP69K. Wow, quite a nice looking rugged smartphone. Decent looking camera bump there. Bison Pro, uh, made from a strong rubberized plastic and on the side it says designed by umi digi remove this so just place the phone down for a second user manual we've got usb a to usb c cable and we have a fast charger included in the box uh, you've got these raised bumpers in all four corners this has to be one of the thinnest rugged smartphones i've come across um, and it's got a bit of weight to it but again much lighter than your usual rugged smartphones you've got a lanyard slot over here there's no lanyard cable included in the box so i guess you have to use your own one ports we've got usb-c port at the bottom we've got a customizable button over here power button volume rocker we've got headphone jack <laughs> wow we've got a headphone jack um, on the other side we've got a sim tray fingerprint sensor and another customizable button and over here you can see it says waterproof and shockproof Okay, quickly check out the SIM tray. So this can take two SIMs or it can take one micro SD card and one SIM card. So you are looking at a 6.3 inch Full HD Plus display. Screen res 2340 by 1080. This phone is powered by the MediaTek Helio G80 clocked at 2 gigahertz. You also have 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Now we do have triple cameras on the back, 48 megapixels, 16 megapixels and 5 megapixels. And on the front, we have a 24 megapixel hole punch camera. This phone has a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery and it does support fast charging. So if you are looking for a rugged smartphone, but you're not interested in the extra bulk, then the Bison Pro might be the one for you. So this is the LeFant F1 robot vacuum cleaner. You've got a mopping attachment here and you've got some disposable mopping cloths. Power adapter. There is also a universal travel adapter included. We've got some brushes, four in total. I'm assuming we're only gonna need two of these. So if we flip this over, you can see that we only need to stick on two brushes. There's also a spare filter included, which is great. And I'll show you where the filter goes in a bit. And this is your charging stand. So when the battery runs out on the vacuum cleaner, it will automatically dock itself to the charging station. And the vacuum cleaner itself is very compact in size. It's lightweight. And here is a quick size comparison to show you how small the LeFant vacuum robot is compared to a regular sized vacuum robot. So that is quite a huge difference there. Look at that, people. And, and that is one of the reasons why I picked this one up. I wanted to see how good this compact vacuum cleaner is. Now underneath, you've got nice big wheels allowing you to maneuver over different um, hard floors and carpets. You've got your side brushes and you've also got a 360 wheel so it can move in different directions. Now here's what's different. You don't have a vacuum roller. The dust just sucks straight in. And I don't know if that's going to be very effective because all of the vacuum cleaners I've tested have a vacuum roller. So this is supposed to be new technology which saves having a vacuum roller altogether. And also 
Another good part of this technology is you can see the dust through the top display. So basically, you can lift this up. Let me just... So there's the dust box. You have to remove the sticker and I'll remove it a little bit just to show you. And then it gives you a complete transparent box so you can clearly see the dust. I'm not going to remove the sticker because it's got a lot of tips there, which I might want to learn first before I remove the sticker. There's your filter on the back. It is a washable HEPA filter. So you've got a 600 ml dust box, which is quite generous for a small vacuum cleaner. And I do like that it's a simple top loading design. Boom, easy as that. Now this vacuum cleaner is a two in one. It mops and vacuums at the same time. You don't have to attach the mop. You can just use it as a vacuum cleaner if you choose to do so. You've got 4,000 PA of suction power. So a very high suction power, which is probably why they didn't need the rollers. Um, I haven't got a problem with not having rollers. It just means less maintenance for me, uh, but I want to see if that effectively picks up dust. So we're going to test that out very shortly. Um, you've got a 3,600 milliamp hour battery, which gives you 210 minutes of cleaning time yeah so compact in design it's 27 centimeters in diameter which is smaller than average for a vacuum robot so it's also quite thin so it can get to those hard to reach areas and the robot can be completely controlled and managed using these two buttons and you've got the entire button guide listed there to show you how to control it so there's no external remote control as such but you do have built-in wi-fi and there is a smartphone app called the lefant life app you will then be able to pair up your phone to the vacuum cleaner and then control all functions of this vacuum cleaner using your phone. All right, let's check out that dust compartment. I vacuumed the whole top floor. Okay, yeah, wow. It's collected quite a bit of dust. Look at that, guys. That is nearly full. And there is a flap here, so the dust can't fall back out, which is so damn useful. There's the filter. So this vacuum cleaner, even without a vacuum roller, is very effective thanks to that 4,000 PA of suction power. All right, next cool product is called the Invisi Magnetic Mount for iPad. It's a magnetic stand or mount for the iPad. You can see that it is rotatable and also you can tilt it up or down 180 degrees. It's made completely from metal with a non-slip rubberized surface at the bottom, Invisi logo, and you've got a hole here for your cables. So let's practically test this. Here is my iPad. So this is the 11 inch iPad Pro. So it tells me that is how we should be doing things. You don't have to block the camera. Now I really like how that fitted on. Um, I do need to give you guys another demonstration of that. So let's flip it around. It's really secure in place. You can see the camera is not covered either. So I guess you can just pull it off. And yes, it's quite easy to pull off. It actually fits into the right space itself. You're not even having to align it. So I can start from the bottom, but it pulls itself down the force of the magnet and it attaches very, very secure. To show you how secure, I will keep my hand underneath because it's an expensive iPad Pro and I do not want to drop it straight flat on the table. Yeah, so that actually is really secure and the best part is it's the same color as the iPad so it almost looks like one unit. Now oh, that is real convenient stuff here. So I can tilt the screen and use my iPad as normal. You can even have a little keyboard underneath. This is very convenient and the best part is it's easy to remove. You can just have this with you anywhere. Um, it's quite portable, compact and light. Um, or you can just have it in one location. So you can just like fold that and travel with that if you wanted to. You can, from, you can tell it's durable, uh, made completely from metal, the hinges and all. So it's made to last. This is compatible with the 11 inch iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, and it even supports the new iPad Air 4. So I can see myself having this set up um, next to my bedside. So as soon as I come with my iPad, and I want to catch up with a bit of Netflix before bed and away you go. I can get used to this. And one of my favorite shows at the moment is this one right here. If you haven't seen it already, go ahead and watch it. This ain't an advert for it. This is just a personal recommendation. Squid Game. Check it out, guys, on Netflix. So definitely a contender for one of my favorite products of this special. The Invisi Magnetic Mount for iPad. Yeah, I really do like this product. 
Now this is the Nexar Beam Car Dash camera. Quick start guide and it says start by downloading the Nexar app. And here is the camera itself. On the top you have a power socket. You've got the attachment there for the actual suction cap slash GPS module. So that just goes on, on place and that will tilt around in all different directions. And you can secure it there with that plastic screw. Power button on the side, 32 gig internal storage is my storage option. You can get bigger options as well. And the card is already pre-installed for you, micro SD. No screen on the back, everything is managed on your smartphone. So you're not really supposed to be looking at the screen when you're driving. This just goes behind your, your rear mirror. So just install it behind so it doesn't distract you and it will record everything that's happening in front of you. You do have power indicator and a Wi-Fi indicator letting you know that things are working and recording. Now how this works is you've got a cable here for the GPS that connects directly into the power port of the dash camera. So that goes there and then the power gets plugged into the GPS module. So when you plug the power into there, plug this long cable into the adapter and the cable is very long and if you want to neaten things up and get behind the carpet, you can use the pry tool so you can get behind the carpet and hide the cables and you've got a few adhesive clips which will help you tidy things up. Now this camera does record in 1080p full HD quality. Um, it, it can record both day and night footage. So you've got 135 degree wide angle lens, built in GPS, you've got smart collision detection, you've got free unlimited cloud backup. Now you can also get one tap insurance reports. This also supports parking mode for 24 seven protection. So if you leave this plugged into your car, there's no extra screen there to burn the car battery so this is very light on the battery um, you can leave it plugged in it will give you 24 7 protection if it senses even the slightest impact on your car it will immediately start recording um, it will also send you a notification to your phone in case someone hits your car while it's parked so yeah you can view and manage all the footage from the Nexar smartphone app which is compatible with both iOS and Android smartphones so that was the Nexar Beam car dash camera um, very nice, easy, convenient setup. Um, and I think this is a very, very good dash camera, which will protect you in the future should you need evidence um, for any collisions that were not your fault. Yeah, definitely check this one out. Next R Beam, people. Next R Beam. So, next up, we have a pair of hybrid active noise cancelling wireless headphones. This is the Super EQ S1. All right, so I just want to show you both colors briefly. So they come with the carrying pouches. So this is the black and red, which is probably going to be the one that I'm going to be using for myself, as I am a fan of black and red. But I want to quickly show you what the white ones look like. So you've got white and red here. These also look quite good. You've got white and red, but you've got this silver finish. Yeah, these are quite nice as well. So you're looking at the Super EQ S1. These are premium quality active noise cancelling headphones. This part is made from metal with the Super EQ logo. You have a plastic headband which is padded along the inner side of the headband and these are extendable and the extendable part is made from metal and plastic on the inside. Ear cups are also very nice, well padded, clearly labelled right and left. The controls you have on these, so you've got volume control, a power button in the middle, you've got a ANC button, you've got an audio jack connection in case you wanted to use these as a wired headphones and here's the micro USB charging port. So these are hybrid ANC, they reduce 95% of ambient noise, you have a 45 hour battery life, that is ridiculous, 45 hours, they are foldable so easy to transport, it comes with an attractive carrying pouch so you can keep them safe, they are high res audio certified and you've also got four built-in noise cancelling microphones. So a very good quality pair of headphones. They don't only look good, but they sound good too. So these are the Super EQ S1 ANC wireless headphones. So here is an interesting product with an interesting name. This is the Electjet PowerPi P10X. So I believe this is a pre-release, so you might be seeing this first on the channel. It's a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank with a very nice white matte finish. You've got the Electjet logo. Now this supports up to 87 watts power delivery offering super fast charging speeds. So you can charge this power bank from zero to 100 in just 60 minutes. You have a digital power indicator on the front showing you how much power is left in the power bank. You've got one regular USB port supporting up to 18 watts quick charge. And you've got a single USB-C port supporting an input power delivery of 87 watt. So you would need a 100 watt 
power delivery adapter so that you can fully charge this power bank in 60 minutes and take advantage of that power delivery 87 watt input. Now the same port also delivers an output of 65 watts which means you can charge all your USB-C devices from smartphones, iPads, tablets to laptops. So this one power bank does it all. Electjet PowerPi P10X. I haven't done one of these in ages but this one looked too good to ignore. This is the G20S Pro. It's a voice air remote control and supports both infrared and Bluetooth version 5. So powered by two AAA batteries, which are not included, you have backlit lights, so they're blue LEDs, and it's useful if you're watching TV at night. So it can be an infrared remote control for easy plug and play action, or you can connect via Bluetooth for enhanced compatibility and greater operating distance. Now there is also a built-in microphone so you can do voice searches. It's compatible with Android TV boxes, Raspberry Pis, projectors, smart TV, smartphones, tablets, computers and lots lots more. It's simply plug and play. It's a great affordable replacement remote control for your TV box. So if you've got an Android TV box, any brand, even the Nvidia Shield TV, this one is an ideal replacement. It's got a whole bunch of functionality on there including backlights, built-in microphone and you've got an air mouse as well. So you can tap this button here and that will give you a Nintendo Wii style air mouse function. So a great all-round remote control, the G20S Pro people. So there you have it guys, that concludes episode 61 and I did warn you guys this is going to be another epic episode. Now if you got this far hit the like button and let me know which product was your favorite from the bunch. So lots of great tech here, but for me personally, a few products did stand out. So those were the incredible Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro, the Invisi iPad stand, the Z-Blaze Stratos Smart Fitness Watch, the Nexar dash camera was also quite impressive for the price, and how can I forget the Super Console X Max, and even the Chewy tablet was pretty good quality. So do let me know in the comments which products were your favorites from the bunch. Meanwhile, I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. Now, all the links will be provided for you in the description box along with timestamps so you can jump to the product that interests you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.